What up, peeps? KG Drift in the building, and in today's video, I'm here to be bringing you guys some more Last of Us tips and tricks. I know there's been a while since I've been making Last of Us videos for you guys. Like I said, I've just been dealing with a lot of things, like ever since the Black Ops 3 beta dropped and things like that, I've just kind of been sticking to Call of Duty just, just a little bit. But, you know, I'm about to be bringing you guys some more Last of Us tips and tricks and stuff like that, because I know how you guys love Last of Us you know, tips and things like that. I think my Last of Us series is probably one of my biggest series yet on this channel. And I'm, I'm really glad to bring you guys a lot of these. And also, I wanted to apologize for being extreme, like, being, like, what, a week behind on videos. Um, For now, I'm, like, I'm right now, I'm really sick right now. Not too sick, but I'm kind of sick. Just I have this bad cough. I had a congestion. So I couldn't really make videos like that due to my cough. I mean, I still have it now. But I'm going to try my best not to cough in this video. But like I said, I'm not going to let this little thing mess up my video. Because like I said, I love making videos for you guys. And I just like, you know, being consistent with everything like that. And like I said, I'm just really back to bring you guys some more Last of Us stuff like that. Tips and tricks. And also, my PS4 has not been fixed yet. I'm trying to get into that. I'm trying to get the money to get that fixed. But like I said, I do have like other PlayStations from like different members that I can play. Since I'm at my granny house, I have a PS4 here now. So I'm going to try to make a, a constant video as much as possible for you guys. And be persistent more and make just like I said, just be more active with my videos. I'm gonna try my best to be active as much as I can. But anyways, let's just start it with this video. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about the semi-auto rifle. And for those of you who don't know about the semi-auto rifle, it's basically a mid-range killer that is automatically unlocked when you first play multiplayer. So like when you first get the game, it's automatically unlocked for you, so you can just play this from start to finish. And also so the gun starts out with seven rounds in the magazine yeah, size when it's not upgraded, yeah. but when it's upgraded, it's eight. So what that that's actually really, really, really cool. No, no, no. The rounds are seven, and then the magazine size, when it's not upgraded, is eight. But I think when it's upgraded, it's about maybe, I don't know, 11 or something like that. I'm not really sure, but like I said, the magazine size is eight when it's not um, upgraded. Loadout points, it takes up two of the loadout points, and then when you put on a silencer, there's four loadout points. And for those of you guys who like more into the DLC weapons, there is a scope version for the semi-auto rifle. And then the scope version of the gun requires more loadout points. The scope version has a limited field of vision, but when you aim down the sight, but the gun has a perfect perfect accuracy range and at all ranges from medium, close, and far distances, which makes it really, really good. And also, just because of, just due to the high level of the accuracy of the gun, uh, the upgrades are less important. I mean, you can get the upgrades if you want to aim faster and stuff like that. I mean, it, I guess it can be important, but in reality, the upgrades are less important just due to the fact that the gun itself, when you have the scope version, is automatically OP. Just due to the highly insane accuracy that it does have. And it, I think it's really, really good. And moving on to the upgrades. When you upgrade it, the first one, upgrade one, it's 400 parts. And then when you have the scope version, it's one up, which is only 500. And then when you upgrade it to two, uh, the cost is 800 parts. But the scope version is a little bit expensive. On upgrade two, it's two up, so it's 1,000, which... Which is really, really crazy because, like I said, when you get up to upgrade 2, the, the gun is already a monster killer as it is right then and there. So, I mean, when you have the scope version, you're probably one of the most OP persons on the map unless you get sniped with a sniper rifle or something like that. But there is things that can overcome the semi-auto rifle, which I will be getting later on in this video. But um, when you upgrade, when it's upgraded to two players... When it's upgraded to two um, on the scope version and also the regular version, players with fast trigger fingers can interrupt melee attacks effectively. So if you have a really, really good trigger finger, you like when they try to hit you with a melee weapon, you can cancel it out really, really fast, and which makes that which makes it really, really powerful. But that goes for like almost any type of gun. Like when you shoot them up with a fast trigger finger, it end up interrupting the melee, which makes it will makes it even easier for you. I mean, I know we all hate that shit that gets on your nerves, especially when you try to hit someone with the 2 by 4 but they end up killing you just due to the fact they fast trigger finger always making you flinch, so you can't really get the kill. And the ammo, when you want to purchase ammo, is 200 parts per 4 rounds, every time you want to purchase the ammo when you run out of it, which is really, really good. And, um, the little background description of the semi-auto, the semi-auto is effective up close. It's deadly up close and at a long range distance, because like I said, it is a close, uh, close close distance um, weapon and also is a long range accuracy weapon also and the weapon is more accurate when you're when you're shooting from a standing position instead of moving around because like I said when you're standing around and in that right position you can get that kill right away and it makes it really really OP and just like I said it's really really good unless you get shot you might flinch a little bit but still it's still the most it's like one of the most accurate guns in the game compared to like the rifle and things like that um, it can down enemies in three hits and it's fast firing can down unaware enemies before they can get to cover or even find cover. So if you kind of, when you see an enemy not paying attention, you can easily kill them quick because, like I said, it has a really fast, 
the, the gun has a fast fire rate for a semi-auto. It really has a fast fire rate. So by the time the player even gets to cover, <coughs> unless they're close, by the time they get to cover, you can get that kill right away. But sometimes, like I said, sometimes people can get out of that and just make it to, you know, the safe in the safety zone when then you have to, you know, kill them off and then and they'd be healing, healing themselves and things like that. So also the semi can also down to three shots in the body and also two shots. If you shoot them in the head and then you shoot them in the body, it's two shots. But in all in general, it's three shots to kill the enemy, which is which is not that bad. Like I said, when you upgrade it, when you have a fast trigger finger, you'll knock the enemy down quick as possible. So it'll make it much easier for you to get that kill. And also it only takes two bullets to execute a down enemy with the semi-auto the damage and one fun fact about this weapon is which is really good the damage model of the semi-auto rifle is very similar to the revolver just the only different thing about them is that the semi-auto can use the silence of what the revolver came because the revolver is one of the most strongest pistols in the game and maybe it's maybe one of the most strongest but it has a slow fire rate which kind of makes it a little bit bad unless you upgrade it but the nine millimeter pistol is probably one of the fastest ones well it's not even probably it is it's the fastest one, but compared to the um, the Enforcer, the Enforcer is really fast also, just like the 9mm, but the Enforcer probably have a little bit more damage in my opinion, but they're both really, really good weapons, but I think the 9mm, if you really want to just have a quick figure, trigger finger and want to get that kill fast, and you can use that, but also you want to have, you can use the Revolver, because the Revolver is strong enough too, it just has a very slow you know, it just, it just shoots very slow, which only makes it a little bit bad. But now, we're moving on to the flaws. So the very, it has a little bit of few flaws on the weapon, but it's not too bad. But the flaw of the weapon is weapons with rapid fire, such as the burst rifle, or weapons with a huge capacity of wobble in the enemy's reticle, such as the full auto rifle, can often beat the semi-auto rifle, just due to the fact that it's quick, it's fast, it's semi-auto, it kills you just like that, so it makes it really hard, just due to the fact that when you do get shot, you flinch a lot, but at least, um, but the, the one good thing is that the full auto rifle can can really beat you, can beat a semi auto rifle um, in close range combat. It's not really, when you come to a close range combat with a semi-auto, with a full auto rifle, the full, full auto rifle might, it's going to win eventually. I mean, you can get, you can win if they like on low health, but the full auto rifle will most likely win it, win the gunfights. I mean, sometimes you can get lucky and get that kill, but majority of the time you get, it's just, it's just no chance against the full auto rifle up close. Also, the starting ammo of the semi-rifle is very low compared to all the other long guns. Which is not, like I said, which is not that bad. I mean, even though you might have to reload it at times. I mean, I do. Ha I find myself struggling, struggling with the weapon at times because when I do try to get the kill, I have to reload it a lot, a lot, a lot. Not even reload it. You gotta buy ammo and stuff like that. Go to the boxes and fix it. Um, if you can see in this video, well, as you're watching this video, I might, it might, I might have came across a few. Um, you know, challenges where I had to like buy ammo and stuff like that and try to find boxes and try to look for things like that, which made it really, really difficult. Now, moving over to the class setup that I use for this weapon. What I use for the weapon, I use the 9mm pistol, the semi auto rifle, and I use Convert Training 3, Crafter 1, and Shotgun. Convert Training 3 is really, really good because I'm more of a stealth person. And as you guys know, the game is all based on stealth. It's a stealth game. It's always based on, it's based on stealth, smartness, and things like that. So you, it's really good to have Convert Training 3 on because people won't be able to find you. You can always come behind them shift them or like i said before when they're not when they're not aware you can shoot them in the back and it's gonna be hard for them to get the cover just due to the fact that just due to such fast fire rate that the semi-auto have which is really really good if you have that fast trigger finger so i really find that really really good and then crafter one is really good because when you want to you know craft any of your items and things when you're in the middle of a gunfight you can craft it really really quick and get right back into that gunfight as quickly as possible now reason why i use the shotgun as like in the superpower weapons or whatever i guess how you can say it is that when you you come across the points where you will be like one-on-one -on -one or something like that i don't know i don't know I just, I just find it really good just to use the shotgun i don't know i mean you, you don't have to use the shotgun but for me, the shotgun is just something that I really like to use, in my opinion. I, mean, I think it's, it, it fits well with this class, but like I said, you don't have to use the shotgun. It just depends on how, what's your variety of, who, like, what's your variety of, what do you like to use and things like that. So you don't really have to use it, but I just recommend using the shotgun. Just do, just do the fact it's just really, really powerful. I think, I just like it. It's really, really good. And, um, yeah, it's just a really, really good gun. I like it a lot, and it's just, it's just, it's just really good. Now, we're going to move over to the stats of the weapon. Which you know we went all waiting for. So the fire rate, the fire rate of the weapon is five, and the reload speed of the weapon is four. 
So, like I said, that's why I say it has one one of the fastest <laughs> fire rates in the game. Well, not even in the game, but out of the semi auto semi auto rifles. I mean, the full auto rifle. It's kind of like that, but it's not really. I mean, if you have a fast trigger finger, you can get that kill right away. The reload speed is really good for like a semi auto. I mean, it's it can help you out sometimes, but I'm more. It's more of you should reload it when you're in the like when you're in the cover because like, everybody starts to rush you and things like that like I said, the reload speed is really good but it's not as good i don't know it's just it just all varies but i think as you upgrade your thing over time the reload speed becomes way faster which makes it really really good now moving on to the damage their damage is five also just the same as the fire rate so like i said that's the reason why it's like a mid-range killer because the damage is really good and the fire rate is really good and when you put those all together it's just man it's just like insane especially like i said especially when you upgrade the weapon it makes the weapon much more powerful than it already yeah, is now moving on to the accuracy guys. the accuracy is seven and like i said that's why it's one of the most accurate guns in the game and especially when you get the scope version of the game the accuracy is i think it goes up a little bit more higher i don't really know i don't really know the stats of that but i will be making a video about that also i'm going to be making videos about all the guns and things like that just give you guys tips and stuff on how they all work but like i said the accuracy is really good the damage is really good the reload speed can be a bit better but it gets better over time as you upgrade the weapon and the fire rate is really really good just due to the fact that if you have a fast trigger finger you can get that kill right away you can just get it you can just kill him quickly quickly actually so it's really really good especially when you like i said when you upgrade the weapon but i hope you guys enjoy it that's it with this video i'm happy that i got to make this last of us video i want i am going to be making more last of us tips and tricks about weapons and things like that and good class setups and things like that so just stick to them with that and also i will be coming out with a black ops 3 review game or well, review video um from the beta uh, like i said i know a lot of people made the reviews of the game and stuff like that but like i said i'm just a little bit behind on that but i want to be making more videos for you guys i want to be making that black ops 3 review just giving you guys a little output of how i thought what i thought about the game what needs to get better and things like that i don't know i just like i think i think it's really good to just show your personal preference about the beta because the beta was really outstanding it was really fun it was really good and i loved it a lot so i can't wait to bring that video out for you guys we'll be dropping that maybe maybe three days from now i don't really know but it will be up and running so you guys just stay tuned with that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you support show some support like this video and also subscribe if you want to see more last of us tips and tricks black ops 3 gameplays and things like that uh my channel is gonna mostly be like last of us and black ops 3 and then maybe when uncharted 4 come out it's gonna be uncharted 4 also so you know i'm just it's, it's gonna be very just tell me what you guys gonna what you guys want to see like what type of uh, content you want to see from me and alex like, so i'll be looking forward to bringing more to you guys so i hope you guys enjoy it live life to the fullest enjoy it and um if you guys want to add me on playstation 4 my, my uh, if you want to add me on ps4 or on the ps3 it will be in the description below so you guys can check that out and uh follow me on twitter and things like that if you want to chat with me and things like that i i really love talking to you guys and you know whatever just comment below and tell me what what other guns you want me to overview give me and like what, what class you want me to talk about and i will for sure make that video for you I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out, y'all. And I'm out.